So I just wanted to ask you, first of all, how did you, who, how did you fight over, basically, how did Crystal win? Why is it Crystal Kyle? <laughs> I guess it's I, uh, I didn't, I didn't put up a fight. I had, I had no problem with her name being first. In all seriousness, she's like a very, she's a pro interviewer. I mean, she already does it. She's been doing it for years. I'm right. not. I'm a, I'm a guy who loves the sound of my own voice, and I right. could, you know, I can monologue all day long. That's easy. But for me to bounce ideas off of other people, it's a little more difficult for me. So right. I immediately caved and I said, "Crystal Kyle and friends <laughs> works just fine for me." So you're like a Democrat. You're almost like a member of the squad. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to her, I just, I'm just like, yeah, you win. Go, go ahead. Yeah, you exactly. Win, yeah. Bold first. I just gave. Sure. Yeah. And and tell us also, uh, I mean, we're going to get into politics, of course, but I just want to know, this sounds so corny, but what is your process? How do you do what you do? How do you decide what to cover? Do you have an aha moment? Do you write up notes? Uh, yeah. So, so it's, it's a great question because I think a lot of people are actually interested in like, you know, the day to day and, and the basics when it comes to what we do. Um, for me, I've always stayed true to my original process, which is basically I will scroll through Twitter and whatever the hell I find interesting is what I end up covering. <laughs> and I feel like people start getting in trouble when they deviate from that and when they think of like, what is the thing I think I should cover as opposed mm -hmm. to just like, no, what's actually interesting to me? So the right. more you could stay true to the original formula, I think the better off you usually are. So you just get inspired by something. It makes you angry. And then you decide to write a monologue about it. Uh, yeah, well, I don't write anything for me. It's all off the cuff. It's all like, you're kidding. I, no, on my show, what I'll do is I'll have like cliff notes, like little bullet points as to stuff I want to say. And then I just riff off of that. I'm much better when I'm off script as opposed to on script. Sure. Jack, did you know that about Kyle? I didn't know about Kyle, but, you know, I, I, I similarly, you know, and it's probably a lot more clear in my podcasting than Kyle's, uh, uh, don't can't do anything more than a bullet point, you know, list. Uh, and sometimes <laughs> not even that. Sometimes not even that. I don't I can't even do. Wait, Jack, are you saying you are not reading from not a teleprompter? This is not tightly scripted. I don't have I'm not scrolling a prompter here. Right. Uh, uh, I'm just off the cuff. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, yeah, I better. I knew that you were like that, Kyle, in terms of like not reading it like you had a teleprompter, but I had no mm -hmm. idea. So you just have bullet points. Yeah, well, honestly, most of the time it's not even that. It's just me off the top of my head saying whatever it is I feel about a certain story. But yeah, the most preparation I ever do is just bullet points. But like when it comes to... Um, when it comes to Crystal Kyle and friends, I actually do have some questions jotted down, very abbreviated, and then I could kind of riff off that. So that's the right. most prep I do, basically. Wow, that's so fascinating. Is this, this isn't like, well, this isn't something you talk about, right? Like, I'm not saying something that's like totally well known and owning myself as an ignorant. Right? I, I don't know. I think people probably have a mixed perception of, of how I do my show. But yeah, I mean. Uh, people know, like, I read the articles or I watch the videos and then I comment on it, but all the prep is done, like, beforehand. And then when I get on air, it really is just whatever I think. Wow. And do you go back and edit it? Are you like, oh, I don't like the way I sounded there? Do you ever do that? Or Very, very, very rarely. Like, the only, only like, edits in the videos are, like, when I either... I stumble over something and I don't like it. Like sometimes I'll even keep the stumbles in, but if it's like yeah. I'm stumbling over something and I don't like it, I don't think it works, then I'll take it out. Or if I just make a point that later I think was a bad point, I'll take it right. out, you know, yeah. but it, it yeah. is, it's rare. And then you can just cover it with the visual, like whatever screen, whatever you're showing. Well, I'll, for, for those examples, I will literally take it out. Like I'll take out the 20 seconds and just, you know, right. throw it and away. But got it. is there a jump yeah. cut then? Um, yeah, sometimes I do the jump cut. Sometimes it's the, like the flash on the screen and, and right, I go, right, right, but, yeah. you know, 85% yeah. of secular talk videos have no cuts at all. Right. Pretty much. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say secular talk is the name of, of his, uh, of your show because it's, I just think everyone knows about it. By the way, if you want to put in your bio, like in your name, if you want to put, cause you really, you know, you really need more exposure and more followers, Kyle. <laughs> I'm not sure people know about your, uh, video, you know, your YouTube show or your, uh, podcast but feel free to of course add those in there um <laughs> and uh how did you get interested in politics how did i get interested in politics um that's another good question I, I came to it through a bunch of different avenues so when i was younger i sort of i got obsessed with noam chomsky i got obsessed with richard dawkins and like hardcore atheist stuff mm -hmm. um and also the iraq war was very big and sort of bringing me sure. into politics because what I was amazed by is like 
how you could have such wild disagreement on something that seemed so crucial, how you'd have like Fox News and Bill O'Reilly acting like this was a moral and just war. And then, you know, we come to find out that the Bush administration lies into the war. And, you know, I'd mm-hmm. see Bill Maher would do rants against the war. And I was just fascinated that you could have this thing that happened and have completely opposite interpretations of reality. And of course, I, you know, I'm anti-war, as everybody knows, but that really kind of brought me into politics and made it made me think about it 24-7. And what kind of, um, how did you even like start reading Chomsky? Uh, And how did you, do you come from a family that's progressive, that's anti-war? No, interestingly enough, my, no, it's not from my family. I would describe my dad, my dad is mostly apolitical, but to the extent he was ever in politics, he would like listen to Rush Limbaugh during lunch on the car ride. So he was not it. My mom uh, growing up, she grew up in a Republican family, and so for most of her life, she was a Republican voter. But in recent years, she's become a Democratic voter. But she's certainly not the kind of lefty like I am. So it definitely right. didn't come from my family. Um, it really just came from my own interests. I mean, I do remember I had some professors who kind of got me going down that road a little bit. It was a professor who introduced me to Noam Chomsky, and I started watching like little clips of Noam Chomsky, and then eventually I started reading his books. Um, so I don't know. It's it's sort of it's interesting. I, I can't even put my finger on exactly how I came to love politics, but it's obviously something I think about 24-7. Right. Did you convert your family at all? Have you brought them along? Yes and no. Like oh, most, most, most of my family does not watch almost any of my stuff which I actually kind of prefer. Like, I don't really want them knowing every, because you know me, I joke around, I make fart noises on air, I pretend right. like I jerk <laughs> off on air. Like, right. everything is just, it's not, I don't want my family right. watching that 24-7. But Hi, I just, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I've done. And she, she'd be mortified by it. She has right, like, right. you know, the decorum sensibilities. Right. Um, I mean, to be bro- fair, my, my mom doesn't really have decorum. And, like, that. to be fair, that thing is, I think, a, would be problematic for, for very laid back parents too. But yes, go go along. <laughs> exactly, the jerk off right. the jerk off salute pro- yeah Exactly. So my brother-in-law watches, um, but not many others. I forgot the original question. What was it? <laughs> oh, if you converted your family. Oh, yeah. Only yeah. I I converted my mom from being a, a, a you know liberal Republican to being like a a, a Joe Biden Democrat, basically. And Which is, I yeah. mean, do you regret it? I mean, I'd rather have her vote for, you know, the corporate yeah. Democrats than vote for the hardcore Republicans. So mm-hmm. I guess it's a step in the right direction. Right. But no, I, I didn't turn her into, you know, a Bernie Sanders lover, which right. yeah. it, which actually shows that I failed at my job in some ways because mm-hmm. I have this yeah. ability to convert like young people who are going down the alt-right pipeline and turn them into like hardcore lefties. But I can't change my mom into a Bernie supporter. So in some ways, I view that as like a failure of myself and my own abilities to of persuasion. Yeah. You should just quit. Just get out of the game. Go to law school. I'm a social worker. At bat. Focus on. I think you need to focus only on your mom from now yeah, on. I know, uh, yeah. Bring your mom on the show. Get rid of the YouTube show. All the yeah. Crystal Kyle. Focus solely yeah. on your mom and see if you can bring her over. Do Instagram you know, videos where you guys have beers. Funny, funny enough, I actually feel like if anybody could convince my mom, it might be Crystal Ball. There you go. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You got a good episode idea. Go yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. You should just dedicate Imagine. your episode to your mom, your next episode. Or we You're bring like, her on to talk you. to her. Yeah, bring oh, her on. Oh, yeah. yeah. 